Hey guys, welcome back to another Skyrim Mods video. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most exciting and also most immersive Skyrim Mods that Nexus has to offer us. And we're going to limit it to about 10 or so mods, but these 10 will completely overhaul your Skyrim mod list and maybe get you back addicted to modding for those people that were questioning leaving. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button down below and maybe subscribe to the channel if you're feeling quite generous today. But otherwise, let's dive right in because this will be fun. The first mod's up today because we're covering both of these because they're both amazing. We have the extended dialogue series by Jonxor, expanding on the guard dialogue giving them new interactions and voice lines based on your progress through the story and side quests that you completed and also what you're wearing. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. You wear that armor well. Iron may be simple, but it'll stop enough to keep you in the fight. That iron sword's pretty undependable. You should try steel. And yes, it is compatible with guard dialogue overhaul since I know that's probably everyone's main question. But you can also go and grab the other one which is called extended bandit dialogue. Giving them new voice lines during combat that you can hear them yell at you before you beat them up of course. But they also have ideal dialogue that you can hear before they detect you. Which is my favorite because sometimes you can even catch them singing. Even though it never really makes sense but it is there for immersive reasons. I'm tired. I haven't slept That's well in weeks. Wonder if I could grow my own spriggan. Hurry up and come at me. You've got all day. Nice armor you got there. It'll be mine when I'm done with you. You want a real fight. No. You want the first, and you won't be the last. I definitely recommend using these together because they blend very well with Skyrim. You might not even notice that they're saying the new lines. Unless you're a diehard fan of Skyrim, then you'll recognize them. Up next we have a newer mod named Regional Merchants, Stalls of Skyrim, adding in new merchants to Skyrim for no other reason than to add immersion and expand on your mod list. And just for that simple reason, I am behind it. This mod based on the description combines over 117 mods and also will be adding more as this updates of clothing and armor to about 10 merchants around Skyrim. And I'll be honest, finding these merchants were kind of hard, but some of them were easier than the others to find because they kind of stood out while the other just kind of blend in but thanks to the mod page i could find them i mean i didn't find them all but i found a lot of them to do the showcase for but these merchants all have their own voices and ai to help them through the day i'll be honest even though i set the time to different times in skyrim i never really noticed the time when they would sleep but they do move around their shops during the day they don't just really sit in one spot waiting for somebody to come buy something so it really makes it seem like these npcs were actually alive or at least better than skyrim's ai and also for those wondering, yes, this mod does conflict with a few other mods, but that's what the patches are for that are in the installer. Unless you just spam click through everything like me, then you might have a few bugs, but me personally, because my list isn't huge, it's pretty big but not huge, I didn't really get any issues with this. This mod is more so meant for the people using custom armor mods, so that you have a way of actually finding and buying those armors because some of them don't have a crafting recipe. So instead of using that item menu, you can finally just save up gold and actually go and buy it. The next mod up is a pretty simple one, replacing the sleeping hiss tree because I could never actually find one, but now I have one. This mod is called the sleeping hiss tree overhaul by Skyfall. And because it makes it green, it now fits my grass. This mod is pretty simple though, no massive quest overhaul or feature creep that will have you begging if this has bugs. Just a beautiful tree overhaul with new surrounding elements. And I'd be a criminal if I didn't at least mention this mod in this video, but I'm not going to advertise it like it's an auction though. Now that I have a mod for the sleeping tree because that tree was pretty ugly, now I just need a mod for the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. But I guess one day at a time though. The next mod up is also a scenery type of mod, taking us to East Grimoire's tomb, where the exterior of this location was completely overhauled by a mod named Northern Scenery, East Grimoire's tomb by Hellinger Crest. This is a fairly newer mod, it isn't completely new though, and I'm kind of surprised I never did a showcase for this amazing mod. But as you can see it completely changes the exterior without destroying your FPS. And also another plus for this mod, because it didn't touch the interior, no Lux patch is actually needed. But if there was, Unit would actually still make one though. This mod didn't just add a bunch of useless clutter, but instead it added items that expanded on the lore. Like destroyed boats that just crashed or eroded over time and also skeletons. There isn't anything overpowered in between these items that you can find, but there is new things like maybe gold or food to expand on the lore for East Grimoire 
essentially detailing the previous inhabitants and maybe how all the Draugr finally got there. I gotta be honest though, this was the last part of Northern Scenery to be added and this was back in August, so I do kinda wonder if this project was maybe abandoned, or maybe they're just working on one huge update. The next mod up we have is Talkative Farmers by Mihao. Continue on their talkative series, now expanding on Falmer, giving them new voice lines to say when ideal before they detect you, or just while continuing on their daily lives, whatever they do, and also while in combat. The voice lines are very similar to what Smeagol would say in Lord of the Rings, and I honestly love the idea for that. If someone could give me a watch order for Lord of the Rings though, I'd love that, but back to the mod. And here are just a few examples of what you can expect with this mod. <laughs> I don't know if it'll ever come to it, but I'm definitely waiting to see if there's an all-in-one for the talkative series, but that would cut down on Mihal's download, so I'm not sure if we'll ever get one, but it would be great. Feels like it's been a while since I've done a mod by Obi, but this mod is called Masquerade Outfit coming in 2k with support for 3ba. Considering this mod is fairly new, will be hump patch will be on the way, but one isn't made yet. But it's definitely coming. This outfit is for female only unfortunately, but at least it comes with its own pre-built body. So you can pretty much test this as soon as you install it, you don't have to pre-build anything. Which also just means that your character won't be invisible when you get in game just to test this mod out. This outfit does come with the most basic of equipment parts, nothing super modular, but honestly, simple outfits are the best in my opinion. Because I only ever use about one or two of the outfits anyway. And also, yes, for the people asking down in my comments already, this is craftable. Just so I can focus on that part. This next mod, I'm not going to lie, took me forever to even find most of these locations because they blend so well with Skyrim. But we have the unmarked locations pack, but this time we have an all-in-one. Gerald decided to finally make an all-in-one and combined all the unmarked locations from Skyrim to the DLC lands to even some in Sovereign Guard. And like I said, most of these took me a while to find because they blend in well. I mean, I do do a lot of mod showcases so I know what Skyrim looks like now, but some of these just look normal to me because I had unmarked locations in my mod pack for a while now, so it kind of just never stood out to me. But now that I'm doing a showcase, I'm finally realizing just how much this mod added onto my Skyrim. And now that there is the all-in-one, as well as the all-in-one patch hub, I can finally get them all together without having a bunch of mods added to my list. There was also the issue because I was wondering if I should say Geralt mods like the American way like Gerald, or if I should say like Witcher, Geralt. But I'll just say Geralt just to like the Witcher, just to be safe. But either way, this mod greatly expands on Skyrim without any feature creep, no new quest, or pretty much any new NPCs that will cause things to break in your list. Just a new scenic mod that made me instantly download it. And what's crazy about this mod is that it adds all of this to every single known land in Skyrim, and also Sovereign Guard, and also the Dragonborn DLC for less than a megabyte. Because most mods will have this about 1 gigabyte if I'm being honest, but I'm glad we can get this all and still have space in our storage for other mods. This next one I had to do a showcase for just because I've never seen anything like it. But this mod's a new follower to your game, but this time a half deer and half girl follower. This mod is called Deer Girl Follower by Yayu, which is a pretty simple title, right? Pretty much explains everything. And if I'm being honest, I've never even considered this type of follower in Skyrim, and I'm scared to even think what will happen when you see her in Ostem or Lover's Lab. But I mean, I love the creativity of this mod. This mod is highly compatible and it even lets you edit her body using CBBE. And I'm going to be honest though, I have no idea what I even use her for considering this isn't some 600 megabyte follower mod that gives her lore and a quest. You just find her and take her on adventures. But I had to at least mention this mod. There were quite a few more armor mods that came out recently, but I'm not sure if YouTube would agree with me showing them considering they're pretty risky. So instead we'll go with the new creature mod by Mihao named Fangotis. Honestly that's probably not even how you say it, but either way, it adds in ugly looking creatures and I'm glad that they aren't friendly because I hate killing cute monsters that aren't friendly. So it's a good thing that they go hand in hand because you can kill these things because they will attack you. These creatures based on the mod page are based on the same creatures you could find in Hammerfell. 
so maybe we'll get to see them in the next Elder Scrolls in 2040. But this monster does come with three variants, even though it just classifies as one creature. And you can find them all while exploring Skyrim. And also, they do come with their own new item, which is just their hide. But I doubt any armor will actually need them. But maybe that's a hint for a future mod that Mihal is working on. Who knows? But that was it for today guys, let me know what you thought down below in my comments after you leave a like because these were the newest mods on Nexus that actually caught my interest. Some of them weren't actually super new, but new enough to be in this video. But anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Peace and love guys, and stay safe.